Congratulations, Coach. Despite the loss, it was still an exciting season. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, I think it's you know it's disappointing as a competitor anytime your season ends without winning the championship. Um, for different reasons, you know, it can be disappointing. But um, you know, we have players in this locker room that's been to Game Five or the WNBA Finals and lost. So. I, I can tell you from experience, it doesn't feel much better than this to get that far and, and lose. Uh, regardless of when you're out of the postseason, you know, we're out. Uh, so, you know, that, that's disappointing. But, you know, I, I think unlike any other season, um, our players just deserve um, still credit and positive energy and support for just even being in this position. Um, you know, there are a lot of reasons why, you know, we, we would not or could not have even been here. Um, and so for the team to stay together long enough to put ourselves in position to, uh, you know, have a chance to advance tonight, uh, they still deserve a lot of credit. Uh, you know, they were amazing this year. We just, you know, we, we ran out of steam towards the end of the season. We lost a few bodies and it just... You know, we just haven't been able to get ourselves back over the last couple of weeks. And that happens during, you know, certain seasons. And, um, you know, it's, it's not our time at the moment. But um, we'll come back and be better for it. And uh, that's all we can do at the moment. Um, we just want our players to know how much we love them. And we're like, you know, the world tries to define you by wins and losses. And, and as an athlete, we, we fall into that trap. We start to think that our identity is wrapped up in whether we won this many awards or this many titles. And this is still a human business. And, you know, our hope is just that a lot of these women's lives were changed and positively impacted by going through this experience in 2020 uh, with, with this unit that, you know, this, this may never happen again. And uh, so we're, we're just thankful for everybody's effort. Congratulations, Candace. And we know the season didn't end the way you would have liked it, but it was still a great season for the team and for you personally. What are your thoughts on the future? You know, honestly, um, it's weird. I feel like you blink and you end up be going from the rookie to the vet. Uh, I can remember in my rookie year when Sophia Young, you know, she hit that bank shot off the glass and kept us from going to the finals. I remember Brittany Griner's turnaround jump shot on our home court to send them to the Western Conference Finals. I can remember, you know, our play against Minnesota where we came up short. Um, I can remember game five going back to Minnesota in 2017. We could have won in game four. It's all these what ifs. And honestly, it's the what ifs that I feel as though others define players as. And for me, I think there's a thin line between, you know, making plays. I mean, we look at we look at a number of athletes, and um, we praise them when they're winning and and all that. And I mean, look at Jokic; he's getting the highest praise. Last year, he sucked. I'm not gonna be. My decision isn't going to be determined by what other people think. I uh, played with LA for 13 years. I'm loyal. And, um, you know, I never say never, but at the same time, been with Adidas my entire career, stayed at Tennessee when things got hard. I don't quit. And um, I would rather not quit than take the easy way out any day. And, um, that's what it's about. I mean, if, you know, if I answered your question.